morning everyone it's Saturday the 26th of February and we're cracking on with some very big visual impact um, jobs today so what we've done is we've put the kitchen worktop in place we've cut it to the correct length we only lost like four or five centimeters barely that because it was pretty spot on We've got our nice little end finish on here and then we started cutting out the hole for our hob. Uh, we didn't film any of it because we needed both brains on full power <laughs> to get the measurements right um, because it, it had a real like sort of tight spot that it had to fit into with the, the base unit here. We didn't want to be cutting chunks out of the base units. So we're really pleased with how it's turned out. It's literally just sitting in its hall now. Um, uh, we will get somebody in to connect it up to the LPG system that's already in here. But we've worked really hard on measuring, double measuring, taping it up, Remeasuring again and then cutting it out. So we're really pleased with how that's gone Some of you might be wondering why did you not have it that way? Which will give you so much more counter space being front to back, but because of the slope of the van um, It was too close to the back here because we've yet to put a splash back on um, And we're going to put a few tiles on I know that's probably only going to be about a centimetre or whatever but by the time we get oh, up if that was turned this way and then there was a big pan on there you're practically touching and I don't want the heat and any of this work that we do here to be spoiled so we're quite happy with how it is it gives us lots of space I'm really pleased that I've got lots of space all the way around uh, for when we're, we're cooking so really happy with that Mm. What we're doing now, we're just trying to figure out where our sink's going to go. And we've got our Berkey water filter in place as well. So we're just sort of figuring out where everything's going to sit and where the best um, work space is going to be for us. As you can see, we've gone for a pretty decent sized sink. Um, never had a sink in a van before and all the little vans we've had I always sort of said nope there's no space but here we definitely do have some space so I'm really excited about that so we're now figuring out where the sink's going to sit in relation to the Berkey and where our tap's going to go so we've got a 12 volt tap and it feels quite plasticky, hmm. but this tap actually cost just more than the sink did. And yeah. the sink we're so pleased with, it's such a good quality sink, so thick and came with all of the, um, the trap and the fittings and the waste, everything in there. So to say that this little guy cost as much as that. It's ridiculous mm -hmm. but we're thinking taps sort of going to go here in the corner and then the sink will drop down into there so that's our next job you want me to talk and measure at the same time so we've squared up where we would like our sink to be positioned um, from the front edge so that that's straight with the front edge we've put some tape on we've drawn around the outside of the size of the sink because it has a two centimeter lip and now what I'm doing is going around with the measure and marking two centimeters in which is exactly what the instruction says to do and then we're going to cut the hole out. That's 
right on the My tummy's rumbling as well. So we've tried to mirror the curve by manoeuvring the sink upside down just to try and keep the two centimetres. It was successful in some places and not so successful in the others but I think we can jiggle it and make it work. I think we can work with that. Yeah but at the moment we just have to um, down tools and go out because my lovely new glasses that I paid a fortune for have just broken so <laughs> that's Max <laughs> I was gonna go and get Max 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 oh it's the postman that'll be why <laughs> that'll make sense hey 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 so um, they, they've just broken literally the little nose guard has snapped off so it just needs to go back and see if they can do anything with that And we're back so yes glasses are all fixed well it's a new set of frames but luckily they did them within an hour so I was much appreciative of that and I can see again so before we left we had um, cut out the hole for the hob and you've seen where that was all in place then we just came back we got straight on with it and we just moved straight down the line so we now have our sink installed so it's got all of our heavy tools inside just to weight it down so the um, the sealant and the glue sealant can go off our tap is in place and the um, stand for our Berkey water purifier is in place so it's done it feels really like it's all coming together um, really happy with how it looks happy with the sizes I've still got loads of workspace here which is really good for chopping and stuff like that and then I've still got a big space here as well um, at the end of the, the hob so really pleased so yeah it's all coming together Good morning everyone, it's Thursday the 3rd of March, um, have picked the camera up for a few days, just been cracking on with lots of little jobs, but uh, just thought I'd give you a quick update today and show you what I've been doing. So what I've done this morning is grabbed um, a box from the local shop, chopped it all up and this is now my template for the backboard which is directly behind the driver's seat and is going to be sort of where we put all of our electrical information and uh, as you saw previously we directed all of the wires through the ceiling and they all come down at the point sort of here and here so uh, that's what I've been doing this morning and those of you who know the Blue Peter reference, it's like <laughs> it was like Blue Peter in here this morning. 
So um, I'll just show you. There you go. So I cut my box up and I fit it in so that there's all of the shapes cut so that that board will then cover that whole section all in one go and then this little section just down here just going to be on a separate um, board just to make it easier because that was a bit of a nightmare doing this but at least I've covered I've um, followed the contours all the way up around the window um, where we've got the tongue and groove on the walls and the ceiling so hopefully that should give us a really crisp um, shape to cut out and then fit in and screw in there and that will be uh, Darren's job when he gets back at the weekend. What we've also com almost completed is the tongue and groove. We have two, the last two pieces uh, here where the sides meet the roof, the really fiddly, horrible, awkward ones on both sides. That's all that we have left to do there. And we even have our first full cover. So that's the front uh, sky vent is completely finished with the cover on and that's the fly net on there but it also does have a blind so you just unclip this one and then the blind pulls over and hooks that way so really pleased with how that's looking and I have just started you can probably see a few little patches here on the ceiling I've started to do a little bit of filling in just a 10 minutes here and there going around checking where the cracks in the tongue and groove or where we got a screw hole wrong or something like that just to to get it right yeah these ones here had some big knots that uh, fell out so that will all get rubbed down before I paint it all and I'll go into the kitchen and show you what else I've been working on as you can see <laughs> my kitchen's been taken over by loads of bits and bobs and uh, the saw has been quite a permanent feature for a week or so on the dining room table. But this is what I've been working on. So keeping in with the colour theme that you saw on the headboard, I'm making um, a, a finish for the back of the kitchen counter that drops down at the back of the kitchen counter along the windows so these are just little bits of tongue and groove that I cut to size I've glued them all together this one's still in two halves just to make it easier um, and the small bit that I haven't yet painted that one will go behind the fridge so just continuing on with those so uh, takes ages but I think it'll finish it off quite nicely once you're looking from the outside in through the window. I would show you the um, control panel and how we've blocked off behind the driver's seat so that was the template that I showed you that I made out of an old crisp box 
and really pleased we've just cut it out this morning and pretty good fitting those curves and shapes it's just sort of sitting in at the moment but uh, very pleased with that so we'll just crack on because we do have to finish up here we've got our last strip to put in but now that we know that um, this control panel works then we can crack on with the others we're now working on fitting in those um, little bits, the gaps that were between the top of the window and the ceiling with the tongue and groove. Um, we've found that smaller, or shall I say shorter pieces are better where the ceiling and the sides have been done in two pieces that have gone the full length. This is going to be much shorter sections. Some of it's a little bit ugly at the moment but nothing that filler won't sort out and what we're having to do is cut the top so it basically cut each piece in half just leaving us with our groove and then loosening the top board putting this one in and up and then refastening it um, but we just had a bit of a fiddle there to get the two wires which are coming down for the solar because the power arc is going to sit up here just finished um, well we had to work everything backwards so to get this last runner on yeah we had to cut out the control panel board behind the driver's seat to get that in we had to fit in the last little bits on the um, join between the ceiling and the tops of the walls so we've got all of this side done and that's exactly what we wanted. So, uh, yeah, worked really well. Chuffed to bits with that. Worked really well, yeah. yeah. And those runners have done exactly as we hoped. Yeah. Uh, it's just done exactly what we planned, like weeks ago. Yes. And that's like really cool, isn't it? Uh-huh. So I can practically see it now yeah. when the cushions arrive and I get those covered then yeah and then this afternoon we're just going to have some lunch and then this afternoon we're going to get all of the electric bits that need to go onto this control panel and we're going to fit them out and we're going to set them on and then i can get this one painted and uh, that'll be a huge leap forward really really pleased definitely good Like I think well. we planned all those clearances. That clearance is just so good. I just can't believe it, actually. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? I mean, it's just, it couldn't have been uh, any better really I just yes. I don't think I, do, I just think I'm so pleased with that window and so so pleased that I stood my ground and kept all of this um, carpet carpet the auto carpet that was already yeah the minibus stuff it because looks so... it has just given such professional finish yeah we can pret yeah. we can always pretend that we did that carpeting as we well did. Yeah, we no, can. No, we can't. <laughs> it's already there. But that's really cool. 